Hey guys, Dr. Brown here with Kubo Math coming to you from Tarlock City, Philippines. And tonight, you're not going to believe this problem. This is a third grade international challenge problem. I don't remember doing things like this in the third grade. So let's get after it. Okay, each. They want you to solve this division problem for A, B, C, and D. Okay, so let's walk through this and see what we can do with it. This is interesting. Okay, you'll see that they have C8, the letter C8, divided by A. 1 times A gives me A, C minus A equals 2. There's my first clue. C minus A equals 2. Okay, I could say, well, C equals uh, A plus 2. If I add A to both sides, the A's would cancel. So it'd be C minus A plus A equals 2 plus A, or A plus 2. C minus A plus A, the A's cancel, it gives me 2 plus A or A plus 2. That would equal C. Okay, so that's how, that's what I came up with from that. Okay, so C minus A equals 2. I would bring down the 8. Oh, but it's a D. That's my next clue. D equals 8. D equals 8. All right, then they say, well, I've got B times A or A times B, and that gives me 2D. That's another clue. So 2D minus 2D equals 0. So AB equals 2D. But recall D equals 8, so that equals 28. AB equals 2-8. So now, what other clue might we have? Well, C8 minus A minus 2D equals 0. That one's critical. Okay, C8 minus A minus 2D equals 0. Well, we said 2D was 28. So we could sub that in, C8 minus A minus 28 equals 0. What else could we do? We had C, we said C was A plus 2. So I could say A plus 2 times 8 minus A minus 28. I'm going to go ahead and add 28 to both sides. 0 plus 28 is 28, so these 28s cancel. Now I'm going to distribute the 8 to the inside. 8 times A plus 16 minus A equals 28. So 8A minus A is 7A. 7A plus 16 equals 28. Well, I'm going to subtract 16 from both sides. These 16 minus 16 is 0. It leaves me with 7a equals 12. 28 minus 16 is 12. Divide both sides by 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1. 1 times a is a. And that equals 12 over 7. Now, as I worked through this, I thought, how in the world is a third grader going to do that? When I, when I was in the third grade, I didn't do that. Okay, so here we go. A equals 12 over 7. Well, earlier we said AB equals 28. I know A. Let me solve for B. So A times B equals 28. And 
And so B, if I divide both sides by A, so if I divide here by A, divide this by A, so A divided by A is 1, 1 times B is B, and that equals 28 over A. Now hopefully you've been into fractions and you probably doing the butterfly method, but I'll show you the, the you get the same answer, just what it's what you'll do later in life. 28 can re be represented by 28 over 1, and that's divided by A, and A was 12 over 7. Now this is a complex fraction, but you invert and multiply. So B equals 28 over 1 times, if we flip that over, I've got instead of 12 over 7, I have 7 over 12. Okay, so B equals, uh, let's see, so 28 divided by 12, or 2 going to this 14 times. So let's see what we'd have. 2 going to that 14, 2 goes into this 6 times, and 14 times 7. So 2 goes into this 7 times, 2 goes into that 3 times. So I have 7 times 7 over 3. So I have 49 over 3. That was a little bit messy. Let me... So 2 goes into this 14 times. He's 1 times 12 is 12. So 2 goes into that 6 times. So I still have 14 times 7 over 6. Well, 2 goes into 14 7 times. 2 goes into 6 3 times, so 7 times 7 is 49 over 3. That looks a little better. So that's B. Well, let's see. C equals A plus 2. Okay, C equals A plus 2. C equals 12 over 7 plus 2. This is where all of that work you guys have been doing with fractions and getting common denominators that comes in handy here. I want to get a 7 as a common denominator, so I need to multiply this one by 1, which I'm going to make 7 over 7. So I haven't changed anything other than it's how it looks, but it's still going to be 2 because it's going to be 14 over 7. So this equals... 12 over 7 plus 14 over 7, and that gives me 26 over 7. So C equals 26 over 7. Now we had D already, which was 8. Looks crazy, doesn't it? Okay, let's stick it back in the problem and see if we can get uh, this to work out. Where are we going to do this? Maybe, maybe I can do it here. We'll see. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't I just substitute it in there? C is 26 over 7. Yeah, we'll just put it right here. 26 over 7. And that's subtracted. Well, it's divided also by A, which was 12 over 7. So we're dividing that by 12 over 7. So we're, if we, 1 times 12 over 7 is 12 over 7. 12 over se or 26 over 7 minus 12 over 7 gives me 14 over 7. 14 divided by 7 is 2. So I get 2. Okay, bring down the 8. We said D was 8. D was 8. All right, B. What was B? 49 over 3. Okay. B, 49 over 3. And we're going to multiply that times 12 over 7. So 49 over 3 times 12 over 7. 
Well, four, uh, 49 over 7 is 7. 12 over 3 is 4. 7 times 4 is 28. Whoa. All right, so 49 over 3 times 12 over 7 gives me 28. 28 minus 28 is, in fact, 0. <laughs> All right. That was a good one. But, like I said, I don't know how a third grader would get that. There, obviously, there's people out there that can, or it wouldn't have been in that, in that particular book. Okay, that was the third grade international challenge. So when you first turned the video on, hopefully you stopped, and you tried to solve that on your own. Okay? All right, guys. Why are we doing this? We're, together, we're trying to build a better tomorrow and do that through math. Study, 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 and then buy a kid a book. Get engaged with your local school and try to help some kids that don't have books or the tools they need to do the job, and, and let's maximize their learning, okay? All right, guys, that's all for now, and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks.